I have a lot to tell you, very little time, so let's get going. Okay, this is our brand new, right here, you're looking at an ADA GPU running ray tracing and artificial intelligence at 60 frames a second. It's 14 inch. It weighs almost nothing. It's more powerful than the highest end PlayStation. And this is the RTX 4060 Ti for our core gamers. Both of these are now in production. Our partners here in Taiwan are producing both of these products in very, very large productions, and I'm really excited about them. Thank you very much. To bring it alive, today we're announcing NVIDIA ACE Avatar Cloud Engine that is designed for animating to bringing a digital avatar to life. It has several characteristics, several capabilities, speech recognition, text-to-speech, natural language understanding, basically a large language model, and using the sound that you will be generating with your voice, animate the face. And using the sound and the expression that you're saying, animate your gestures. Okay, run, please. <clears throat> Everything is real time. Hey, Jen, how are you? Unfortunately, not so good. How come? I am worried about the crime around here. It's gotten bad lately. My ramen shop got caught in the crossfire. Can I help? If you want to do something about this, I have heard rumors that the powerful crime lord Kuman Aoki is causing all sorts of chaos in the city. He may be the root of this violence. I'll talk to him. Where can I find him? I have heard he hangs out in the underground fight clubs on the city's east side. Try there. Okay, I'll go. Be careful, Kai. None of that conversation was scripted. We gave that AI, this Jin AI character, a backstory. His story about his ramen shop and the story of this, of this game. And all you have to do is go up and talk to this character. And because this character has been infused with artificial intelligence and large language models, it can interact with you, understand your meaning, and interact with you in a really reasonable way. All of the facial animation completely done by the AI. We have made it possible for all kinds of characters to be generated. They're all domain, they have their own domain knowledge. You can customize it so everybody's game's different. And look how wonderfully beautiful they are and natural they are. Round up. The last several years, I've been talking to you about the new type of processor we've been creating. And this is the reason we've been creating it. Ladies and gentlemen, Grace Hopper is now in full production. Look at this. This is Grace Hopper. These, this processor, this processor is really quite amazing. There are several characteristics about it. This is the world's first accelerated processor accelerated computing processor that also has a giant memory. It has almost 600 gigabytes of memory that's coherent between the CPU and the GPU. And so the GPU can reference the memory, the CPU can rep reference the memory, and unnecessary, any unnecessary copying back and forth could be avoided. The amazing amount of high-speed memory lets the GPU work on very, very large data sets. This is a computer, this is not a chip. Practically the entire computer's on here. All of the low, this is, uh, uses low power DDR memory, just like your cell phone, except this has been optimized and designed for high resilience data center applications. Incredible levels of performance. This took us several years to build. Grace Hopper has more memory, has more memory on this one module than all of these. Does that make sense? And so as a result, you don't have to break the data into so many pieces. Of course, the amount of computation of this is higher, but this is so much easier to use. And if you want to scale out large language models, if you want to scale out vector databases, if you want to scale out deep learning recommender systems, this is the way to do it. This is so easy to use. Plug this into your data center, 
and you can scale out AI. Okay. So the first so thing is, of course, we have the Grace Hopper Superchip. Put that into put that into a computer. The second thing that we're going to do is we're going to connect eight of these together using NVLink. This is an NVLink switch. So eight of this, eight of this, connect into three switch trays into eight, eight Grace Hopper pod. These eight Grace Hopper pods, each one of the Grace Hoppers are connected to the other Grace Hopper at 900 gigabytes per second. 600, 600 gigabytes, 900 megabytes per second, eight of them connected together as a pod, and then we connect 32 of them together with another layer of switches and in order to build, in order to build this, 256 Grace Hopper super chips connected into one exaflops, one exaflops. You know that countries and nations have been working on exaflops computing and just recently achieved it. 256 Grace Hoppers for deep learning is one exaflop transformer engine, and it gives us 144 terabytes of memory that every GPU can see. This is not 144 terabytes distributed. This is 144 terabytes connected. Why don't we take a look at what it really looks like? Play it, please. This is 150 miles of cables, fiber optic cables, 2,000 fans, 70,000 cubic feet per minute. It probably recycles the air in this entire room in a couple of minutes. 40,000 pounds four elephants, <laughs> one GPU. And we're so, we're so excited that Google Cloud, Meta, and Microsoft will be the first companies in the world to have access. And they will be doing ex exploratory research on the pioneering front, the boundaries, of artificial intelligence with us. We will, of course, build these systems as products. And so if you would like to have an AI supercomputer, we would, of course, come and install it in your company. We also share the blueprints of this supercomputer with all of our cloud suppliers, so that our cloud partners, so that they can integrate it into their networks and into their infrastructure. And we will also um, build it inside our company for us to do research ourselves and do development. So this is the DGX GH200. It is one giant GPU. Okay. Compression, decompression. What if the cloud performed generative AI capability to it? Let's take a look. The future of wireless and video communications will be 3D, generated by AI. Let's take a look at how NVIDIA Maxine 3D, running on the NVIDIA Grace Hopper Super Chip, can enable 3D video conferencing on any device without specialized software or hardware. Starting with a standard 2D camera sensor that's in most cell phones, laptops, and webcams, and tapping into the processing power of Grace Hopper, Maxine 3D converts these 2D videos to 3D using cloud services. This brings a new dimension to video conferencing with Maxine 3D visualization, creating an enhanced sense of depth and presence. You can dynamically adjust the camera to see every angle in motion. Engage with others more directly with enhanced eye contact. And personalize your experience with animated avatars, stylizing them with simple text prompts. 
With Maxine's language capabilities, your avatar can speak in other languages, even ones you don't know. NVIDIA, AI, Life Army Singa, Jodu Function. In NVIDIA, where Saseke AI will motivate communication gadgets, Kakume of Motorashimas. And so today we're announcing in partnership with so many companies here in Taiwan, the NVIDIA MGX. It's an open modular server design specification. Now this is the basic chassis. Let's take a look at some of the other things you could do with it. This is the Omniverse OVX server. It has x86, four L40s, Bluefield 3, two CX7, six PCI Express slots. This is the Grace Omniverse server. Grace, same, four L40s, BF3, Bluefield 3 and two CX7s. Okay, this is the Grace Cloud Graphics server. This is the Hopper NVLink Generative AI Inference Server. And we need sound effects like like that. And then Grace Hopper 5G Aerial Server, okay, for telecommunications, software defined tel telco. Grace Hopper 5G Aerial Server Short. And of course, Grace Hopper Liquid Cooled, okay, for very dense servers. And then this one is our dense general purpose Grace Superchip server. This is just CPU. And it has the ability to accommodate, accommodate four CPU, four Grace CPUs or two Grace Superchips, enormous amounts of performance. And if, you are, if your data center is power limited, this CPU has incredible capabilities. In a power limited environment, running PageRank, and there's all kinds of benchmarks you can run, but we ran PageRank. In ISO performance, in ISO performance, Grace only consumes 580 watts for the whole, for the whole server versus the latest generation CPU servers, x86 servers, 1,090 watts. It's basically half the power at the same performance. Or another way of saying, you know, at the same power, if your data center is power constrained, you get twice the performance. Most data centers today are power limited. And so this is really a terrific capability. And so the way that we do InfiniBand is design it from end to end. This is the way supercomputers are built. This is the way AI supercomputers are built. And we are going to do the same thing now for the very first time for Ethernet. We've been waiting for the critical part. And the critical part is the Spectrum 4 switch, is this. The Spectrum 4 switch and the Blue Field 3 Smart NIC or DPU. This Blue Field 3 is 400 gigabits per second NIC. It connects directly to the Spectrum 4 switch. In combination of four things, the switch, the Blue Field 3, the cablings that, that connect them together, which are, are super important, and the software that runs it all together represents the Spectrum 4. This is what it takes to build a high performance network. And we're going to take this capability to the world's CSPs. The reception has been incredible. In Omniverse, they start by building a digital twin of their factory, unifying disparate 3D and CAD data sets to provide a real time view of their complex factory data to their planners and suppliers. In the cloud native digital twin, planners can then optimize layout virtually before deploying changes to the real factory. The digital twin is also used as a training ground and data factory for Pegatron's Perception AIs. They use NVIDIA Isaac Sim, built on Omniverse, to simulate and optimize their fleet of mobile robots, which help move materials throughout the facility, as well as the pick-and-place robotic arms that assist on production lines. Did you see that? The whole factory is in Omniverse. It's completely digital. Imagine, if you have digital information in your hands, what can you do with it? Almost everything. And so today we're announcing our robot platform, NVIDIA Isaac AMR, is now available as a reference design for anybody who wants to build robots. I want to thank all of you for your partnership over the years. Thank you.